Did you know the fastest WordPress hosting isn't the most expensive hosting? I built test sites on 12 of the fastest WordPress hosting providers and put them through five vigorous tests to see who really is the fastest. So pay attention, because the results of what I'm going to share could save you thousands of dollars in hosting costs this year. And not only that, Choosing a fast WordPress host is critical to the bottom line of your business because slower websites suffer from lower search engine rankings, higher bounce rates, lower page view numbers, and lower conversion rates. To put it simply, a slow website equals lower profits. In fact, you can run your website through this Google tool to estimate how much money your slow website is costing you every year because a one second delay is costing me $28,000 a year in lost profits according to Google. Plus, site speed is a confirmed Google ranking factor, and it's not often that Google definitively confirm ranking factors. So, making sure you're actually choosing the fastest WordPress hosting is absolutely critical because if you get it wrong, the consequences could be far reaching. And we've seen some pretty bold claims from companies like WP Engine recently, who state they are 40% faster than anyone else in WordPress. Now, that's led to an awful lot of backlash online to say the least. Not only that, but WP Engine's article also says that the new C2 architecture will be standard in all of WP Engine's premium plans at no additional cost. Sounds great, right? But it's also kind of misleading because WP Engine don't consider their $290 per month plan to be a premium plan. So the new 40% faster C2 platform is only available to people on custom setups, which WP Engine have been shy about sharing the pricing for. But after jumping through a few hoops, I was able to get set up on their new platform for just $600 per month. So I'm very much looking forward to putting their 40% faster than every other WordPress host claim to the test, because they are 1,100% more expensive than the next cheapest host in this test. And just to add to the controversy, Kinsta recently announced they're migrating all of their customers to the same C2 Google Cloud platform that WP Engine are claiming victory over. But the key difference here is Kinsta have made this standard across all of their plans, which start from $30 per month. So with all this controversy over who actually offers the fastest WordPress hosting, I decided to put them to the test. I signed up to the cheapest plans across 12 hosts, including WP Engine, WPX Hosting, SiteGround, Pantheon, A2 Hosting, Kinsta, Cloudways, Bluehost, Green Geeks, Liquid Web, Dreamhost, and GoDaddy, and the, the WP Engine C2 platform. Then I built this test blog that features 11 high resolution photos, along with 1000 words of dummy content, built with the popular Elementor plugin and Astra theme. Once that was set up, I cloned that across each of the hosts so that each host had an identical install of WordPress. Then I ran five different tests across each test site to see who really is the fastest WordPress host. In the first test, I fired up GT Metrics and ran each of the test blogs through it from seven global locations and averaged out the results. As you can see, both WPX Hosting and Pantheon are literally neck and neck in first and second place. But interestingly, Kinsta in third place needed double the time than first and second place did to load the site. In the second test, I did the same thing, but this time with Pingdom Tools. And the results look pretty similar to the first test, with the top four hosts remaining the same. Both WPX Hosting and Pantheon were neck and neck again, with third place Kinsta trailing behind. In the third test, I wanted to see how each host would perform under stress. So I used load impact to measure how each host would handle 500 simultaneous visitors. But some hosts block this test because they think it's a DDoS attack. So here you can see the results I was able to get. 
And seriously, hats off to the Pantheon team for achieving that kind of stability under load. That is a serious achievement to say the least. But with that said, nearly all of the hosts performed well under load and demonstrated that they could handle large bursts of traffic. In the fourth test, I wanted to see how the actual servers performed when they aren't hiding behind caching. So, I installed the WordPress Performance Tester plugin, which tests servers and outputs two performance metrics. The execution time, which shows how long it took to complete all of the tests, and the quicker it completes a test, the better. The other metric it outputs is the number of queries it could process per second. The higher, the better. Now, you would expect that more expensive hosts perform better here because well, you assume they allocate you more resources for your money. But the results speak for themselves, with Kinsta's C2 offering dominating the competition despite being 20 times cheaper than WP Engine C2 offering, which really failed to perform here. It's also interesting to see Pantheon fall behind the pack here because they were a top competitor in the previous test. In my fifth test, I wanted to test the support quality of each host. So I decided to ask them to solve three common problems that most people have faced with hosting. First, would they take care of a site migration for me? Secondly, would they remove malware from the test sites, which I purposely infected with a false flag triggering virus? And lastly, would they stop other sites hotlinking to my images? This is how each host responded, and the only host that provides free migrations, free malware cleanup, and took control of the hotlinking problems was WPX Hosting. However, they don't offer phone support, which is a huge turnoff for some people. And although WP Engine wouldn't offer a free site migration, they do offer a free plugin that should help with the process. But in general, as you can see from the results, the quality of support really separates the cream from the crop. So after running all of these tests, I can conclude that WPX Hosting are the fastest WordPress hosting provider. They came out on top for both of my loading tests, they put in a solid performance in the WordPress performance benchmarker testing, and they provide excellent support for less than $25 per month. However, Pantheon at $50 per month were hot on their heels during both of the speed tests. They dominated the load impact testing, but seriously fell short in the server performance benchmarking and support tests. Kinsta at $30 per month also put in a solid showing from top to bottom, including speed, performance, ability to handle load and support. So if I had to rank them, WPX Hosting is the best all round, followed by Kinsta and then Pantheon. Why? Because despite Pantheon delivering lightning fast load times, they really fell short in the support area, and that's what separates the cream from the crop. Both WPX Hosting and Kinsta over deliver in this area and have a great reputation for taking controls of customers' problems and solving them, while both being nearly 50% cheaper than Pantheon. And as for WP Engine's claim that they're 40% faster than everyone in WordPress, well, they're barely 20% faster than themselves. And both their $30 per month plan and new C2 $600 per month plan failed to perform against cheaper hosts. So there you have it. The fastest WordPress hosting is WPX Hosting. And don't forget, a faster website will result in happier visitors, lower bounce rates, higher page view numbers, higher search engine rankings, higher conversion rates, and last, but most importantly, higher profits. And if you have had any good or bad experiences with any of the featured hosts, please let me know in the comments below. But before you do that, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel right now to get more great case study videos like this one.